I'm Alita Pippin. Uh, you're in Pippin Contemporary. And right now I'm in the process of transitioning out of the business of a gallery owner and into spending more time on my own artwork. I've been in the gallery business since 2006, and that's not a long time for, to be in a, in a business, but it was on top of 24 years of owning my other business. If we're healthy, we have this idea that we're just gonna last forever. The time, but the time goes by, and the time goes by very quickly. Because I have to tell you, I still feel like I'm 20, but I realize I'm not. <laughs> and so it's, it's that, I just feel like it's time. I have an amazing studio on Agua Fria, close to St. Francis. And right now I'm in the process of cleaning it up, meaning organizing it. And I have a front entrance room. It's gonna become my art gallery again. Every time I come in my studio, there's a, a peacefulness about it. There's an energy transition. I can feel the difference in the energy when I come in here. It just does a, it's a night, it's like it's my girl cave. <laughs> it's just, it's my happy place. I still delight in color. I think color, there's a physiological impact that color has on people. It's, there's, because we're interpreters of vibration, when we see color, our eyes are interpreting that color. The highest radio frequency that we can interpret is red. Um, so there are colors beyond and above and below the frequencies that we're able to interpret. Um, but so in that interpretation, because we are energy and vibrational patterns ourselves, we feel, that we feel that it can have a, a phys, to me, physiological impact. It can make us feel better, sad. To me, it's like music. When I hear a beautiful passage of music, and I just feel like, you feel it start tearing up because it's so beautiful. And there's something it touches in you, um, your God self or whatever you want to call it. There's something that, you, that it touches that puts you in touch with yourself too on a deeper level. So the idea to change for me, and this is going to sound peculiar maybe, <laughs> but I started playing pickleball last March, and I absolutely love it. It is the most fun, it's an old game, it's been around for over 50 years, but I started playing and there were people there, one person who said he and his wife retired and now they travel all over the country and play pickleball. <laughs> It's such a social game. I just love it. So I want to play more pickleball. I don't want to feel guilty <laughs> that I was playing rather than being over here. So whatever. Because <laughs> everything seems to be set up in a way. It, like this consciousness flows through all things. If something is exciting, I try to pursue it. And pickleball is exciting. <laughs> pickleball is very exciting to me. So. Also something else is that's very important and that I, it has to do with law of attraction again, is allowing. I'm trying not to force things. So I'm trying to look forward um, and allow myself to be open to whatever comes into my life and not to be so um, sure about how it's gonna look. Anyway, what am I gonna do next? I am going to see where my life leads me. Actually, it's like a painting, because I told you this the other day. When I paint, it's like I'm trying to follow the painting. It's leading me, like an author writes, creates the characters, and then the characters tell the story. My paintings do that to me. So if I can do that with my life, and this is so important, we create ourselves and we have to be happy with ourselves because that's when we're happy and we have uh, passion, then people are attracted to that. And it, when I have passion for painting or passion for pickleball, 
or passion for traveling or passion for meeting people I have never met before, um, then I'm open to any opportunity that comes in.